the great tag team here. The mayor and his wife, the honorable state rep, who will be moving up for higher positions. And we know that she would do it because she looked like she was born in a politics. She's a regular politician, even though she hasn't been in it that long. So she definitely knows the game. And I've watched her, and she has a lot of energy that I thought I had, and she really has energy. So we're going to ask uh, her husband, the mayor of Maywood, the people's mayor, that can identify with anybody, Mayor Henderson Yardbird. to the village of Maywood, the village of eternal light. And this is always a special occasion, of course, any time that we are able to see moms here, we are always very happy, proud, and pleased to see you still looking well, and healthy, and strength, You're still carrying on, still inviting people to come to your house, still feeding the community, the same as you did probably 30, 40, 50 years ago. So we are thankful to have you still among us here in the village of Maywood, the city of Chicago. People know you from everywhere. Uh, we're just talking to all of them in the and said, say hi to mom, uh, all the way from the south side of Chicago. But uh, again, I, I did not have the privilege to personally know a friend. I wish I had because I've heard so many wonderful things about the man. And so, you know, it's the type of thing that you just wish you would have had a chance to rub shoulders, listen to him talk personally, have a conversation. Uh, I, th I think it would have made a difference even in my life. But what I know about him is what I've read and what I've heard. One of the people I talked to was uh, Don Williams, my father-in-law. And Don is 85 years old going, but he knows a lot about Fred, and he talks a lot about Fred. He understood what Fred was all about before Fred did probably. Because as a young man, he always talked about how far advanced Fred was ahead of his own time. He just couldn't hardly realize the knowledge and the depth of his understanding what he was reaching for back in the day. But he knew what he wanted. He knew what he wanted for his people. And he didn't give up. He fought to the end. So I'm just sorry that I didn't have a chance to personally meet him, but I know moms, I know his brother, Bill, and I knew his father. So it's like, and I've always felt like I was part of the family. So it's a privilege and a pleasure to still stand among you, be your mayor, of course. We always know that all you gotta do is pick up the phone if you need anything from me, personally or otherwise. We'll be in service, me and my wife. We both feel the same way. So thank you for your next speaker. And again, welcome to Maywood. And we look forward to seeing you back here again next year. Thank you. Okay, I wanna.